kind of go back to the basics because we probably got a listener too that that hasn't heard about this before. Sure. So what? Tell us about kind of give us a primer course on what is geothermal. Well, the way I like to discuss geothermal is kind of taking you with a conventional system. The conventional system, you have ductwork in inside the house, you have a piece of equipment inside the home, as well as you have a piece of equipment outside the home. And as uh, Gary has been helping to educate our listeners for years, you know, in the heating or in the in the summertime, we're really removing heat. So in essence, what the uh, conventional air source system is doing is taking the heat out of the home via the refrigerant circuit, and literally on the outdoor piece of equipment, we're rejecting that heat outside into the air. So if you go and put your hand outside over top the outdoor unit, you're going to feel the heat that you, uh, the system is removing for your home. What geothermal is, is we still have ductwork inside the home, and we have our unit inside the home where the ductwork is at. We don't have a need for an outdoor unit. And in essence, instead of using the outside air, we're using an outside earth loop that is installed, you know, in your backyard, if you will. And we're taking and rejecting that heat or depositing that heat. I like your heat. bank analogy. Yes. I really like that bank analogy, depositing the heat in the ground. You're a money guy, so you would. <laughs> um, so you're, we're going and literally depositing that heat outside in your backyard via the water-filled earth loop. We do that all summer long. And as with, since it is a heat pump, in the winter time, you know, it also heats the home. So the reversing valve reverses, and now we're making withdrawal of that heat from the ground and taking that free heat, if you will, bringing it back into the home and heating the home all winter long. So in essence, uh, we're using the ground versus using the air via, we like to say that we're either a ground source or a geothermal unit. Again, if somebody's thinking about this, how, how do I know if my house is something I really ought to look at in my home? What are, what are some tangible things that that are kind of a, a tip that, hey, this house could, could really benefit from geothermal. Comfort would be one. Um, another one is going to be, you know, we, we were talking about high utility bills last summer. How many of our listeners, and even when you did the home makeover, how many of those people were, were determining what their set points were on their thermostats based on um, how much they could afford to pay on their utilities? So, you know, comfort is going to be huge as well as what, uh, what our homeowners were paying last year. Uh, you know, I think the greater majority of people don't know what comfort is is until you can afford comfort and that's what uh, the beauty of geothermal is you know Joe called a little while ago up in the woodlands and uh, recently within the last year year and a half we did a, a, a retrofit of an existing system to geothermal and that homeowner you know had was paying literally up to fifteen hundred dollars a month in utility bills and they were never comfortable Okay, spending that kind of money, you would I I expect to be comfortable, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's that's exactly right. And we see a lot of that, where people are spending money and they're still not comfortable, and they're just doing it over and over again. And you know, a lot of times they don't know what to do. They're they're puzzled, so to speak. But uh, you know, getting some direction. You know, air conditioning duct system. It, it's it's not the silver bullet, but it's one of the bigger uh, components of the bullet here in this area. Well, that's for sure. the holy trinity. Okay, and the, the, this is going to be the geothermal holy trinity uh, you have to have a properly designed duct system okay you have to have a properly designed earth loop and then finally the piece of equipment which you know i worked for water furnace and i i had my my choice of who i could go to work for and i chose the best which is water furnace geothermal we're made in america um so those are the three different things that are going to ensure the customer is going to get the top performing system and see all the comfort that they said that they wanted uh, i think someone uh, if any of our listeners have a system that more that are more than seven years of age you know it's time to start to considering yes it might be still be operational but how efficient is it and how comfortable are you really? 